Hey, what's going on out there, YouTube? Uh, today, I want to break down uh, the top several reasons why you need to uh, learn credit, uh, learn the advantages of credit, especially if you're young, um, you know, 16, 17, 18. I wish I was learning about credit. So um, if you're interested in, in, in how you can use it as leverage, just stick around and we'll get right into it. Let's go. So if I'm being completely honest, um, credit is still kind of a gray area for me, but I get the basics of it and how it can be used to my advantage. So uh, pretty much think of credit as uh, kind of like a measurement that lenders or people in position to give you money can pretty much uh, look at and uh, determine whether or not you're worthy enough to pay them back or not, you know? so. Uh, Basically, if I lend John uh, $50,000 and uh, John paid me back in one year, uh, it's going to be easy for John to acquire or accumulate $50,000 again, if not more, from me or the same lender. You know, and this is just a, a, a scenario I'm running here. But if I gave Paul $50,000 <laughs> and he never paid me back, why would I ever lend Paul money again? Why would I do that? What would be the, why would I ever, that would be silly. So I can pretty much look at Paul's profile and determine whether or not he's worthy enough to uh, give me back my money and uh, make good on his word. Um, and that's pretty much what credit is for. Are you, can you, can you pay me back? It's that simple. So pay people back. Like when I was growing up, letting people loan money was miserable because I was always the type of guy to loan them money and I wouldn't be on their heads about giving it back right away, even though I should have been. I've always been kind of passive that way, but I feel like it's not my job to uh, get, be on your head about that type of stuff. You should just give me my money back if you're a worthy individual. But um, out here in the real world, uh, it doesn't work like that because if you owe somebody some money, a creditable lender, they on your head. They calling your phone. They calling your your brother's phone, your mother's phone. They they want to know where are you? Like, are you gonna are you gonna pay us anything? So, I say you know, it's cool because even if you are in debt to somebody, especially a creditable lender, as long as you paying on your debt, it don't matter how much you're paying. As long as you're giving something, showing that hey, I'm still alive. I'm still honoring this debt that I owe to you here I am. And by you just acknowledging that your credit score goes up. So for you making on your, so for you just keeping your word as an individual promising to pay money back, your credit go up. So I think that's fair. I think that's simple. I think more people need to understand what, what is used for and how, how it can be leveraged in the real world. Ask yourself, have you ever ran into uh, somebody out here just messed up, just down on their knuckles, broke, out here homeless asking other people for money. have you ever ran into any of those people with great credit good credit no i i haven't if you do more power to you but like i said i think credit is something we need to be more conscious about um i wasn't taught anything about credit growing up um you know where i come from uh poverty you know the east side of detroit you see these abandoned houses you see this, you see what I grew up around. Nobody, nobody in my family or, or immediate uh, group of people, friends, associates, nobody knew about credit. Nobody could put me in a good enough position to um, to already be killing it out here at 2021. 20, I had to figure it out later on in life. So I hope anybody watching this video, if you young, if you, you know, 16, 17, 18, 19, like take advantage and just just sit down, take some time out, pull up Google, learn about credit, find out what you need to do to get you a credit card or start building you some credit out here. I say credit card is the fastest route. Um, it's simple, it's straightforward. Um, you use a card with a certain amount of money on there, you just put the money back on there before you know, before reports or whatever. So real, real simple, it's literally a game 
So get out here and play this game. Stop stop sitting around wondering what it's like or, or letting somebody else taint your mindset on what it could be like or the dangers of it, the horrors of it. Get out here and see what it's like for yourself and trust yourself, trust the process of everything. Um, but yeah, I just wanna do this real quick. Uh, I felt it could be helpful to some people out there trying to figure out what's the best way to uh, gain some financial leverage out here, especially if you're an entrepreneur. Uh, building up your personal credit is a really good segue into getting yourself business credit. You know, business credit is really where it gets interesting. You know, it's really where you're able to make more moves, you have more power, more leverage. So I hope this video was helpful. Uh, like it, share it, subscribe. I'll see y'all on the next one.